Good morning, this is Bill at Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA, and today I want to tell you about some other things that you can do in your habitat and while you're out hunting. I've been around a few years, so in those years I've learned how to do other things while I'm hunting than what you would might expect as a typical hunt or on a typical hunt. One of the things I like to do when I'm on the hunt is I like to look for these things. These are Indian artifacts. A lot of time you're out in a field or you know, you're walking through a field or you're in the woods and you see a tree that's fallen over. When the tree falls over, you can sometimes see dirt that's been under the surface of the ground for a long period of time. And many times you can find these arrowheads like I found here. I have an extensive arrowhead collection, so I'm always on the look for arrowheads. Now this piece of rock here is interesting because it looks just like a piece of rock. This actually came off of a, a ranch that we have in Malta, Montana. And this is a piece of dinosaur bone. This is the outside of the bone and this is the bone marrow. So you can be looking for dinosaur bones and fossils and minerals. Here's another fossil that I found in Upper, upper Pennsylvania. And some of the fossil rocks are quite unusual, and you can sell them. There's a lot of times when you're out looking around, walking around, you can find junk pieces of metal, such as this set of tongs here that I found. And this, it was unusual, I was on a, a fishing trip up in Alaska on Kodiak Island. And this is actually a remnant from World War II. This is part of a grate that was put down for an aircraft landing strip that was on a remote part of the island. And I, I sort of scoffed that up and brought it home. It was in a roadway there, and it was going to jab somebody's tire, so I took it. Another thing that you can do while you're out in the woods or, you know, in the brush is have a pair of clippers with you. And I'll explain why. A lot of times there's a lot of plants out there that you can just clip Take a little snipping of, bring home, and root it in your own backyard. It's very easy to do, and I've ha had a couple videos up online to show you how to do that. So take a pair of clippers with you. The next thing I want you to remember is while you're cleaning up your yard, you can be preparing to hunt. As in here, we have acorns. You can take a bunch of acorns with you, and as you're walking through the woods and you know walking around, you can just put them in the ground and plant some trees. And th this way, when other people will go hunting someday, there'll be more trees out there for other people to enjoy while they're on their hunt. At Highland Hill Farm, we grow a lot of trees, so I can give you all kinds of tips and information on growing trees for hunting habitats. And I usually have some demonstrations going on here on how you can grow your own trees. And I'll take you over into another room here and I'll show you a, a demonstration on how you can grow little trees from cuttings that you get in the woods. This is going inside one of our greenhouses. And you can see I've got all kinds of bottles and cans and buckets that are cut up. And what we're doing in here is we're growing small little seedlings in these little containers. And the containers will have all kinds of plants growing up in them. And that way the plant can be taken out into the field and replanted. And it's a great way to increase the number of trees and shrubs on, in, in your landscape. And we'll just open this up a little bit. See, this is loaded with vib uh, arborvitas. That's actually called the green giant. It's a deer-resistant arborvita. And these are very easy ways to grow trees and shrubs. And a lot of trees and shrubs can be started just from a simple cutting. So if you have any questions on one of the things I've been talking about, just give me a call at 215-651-8329. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.